This is Matthias Bombal, your KSCH-TV movie host, coming to you from Hollywood tonight, and I hope you enjoy our feature presentation. This, however, is where the movie started, for it was on this site, an old barn, that Cecil B. DeMille photographed Hollywood's first feature-length film back in 1913. And just under 80 years later, it's still here. Let's take a look inside. And once inside, you get a sense of awe for the Hollywood that was because the movies really began right here on this very spot. For Jesse L. Lasky, the producer of The Squaw Man, then built one of the earliest studios in Hollywood from this very site and began the industry that has become the movies and what we all know today as being Hollywood. And it has now become a museum featuring some of the greatest treasures from the earliest moments of movie making. We'll be showing you some of those in a few moments coming up, including an actual chariot used in both screen versions of Ben-Hur. Matthias Bombal, your KSCH-TV movie host, coming to you from Hollywood, California tonight, from the very birthplace of the feature film, the Cecil B. DeMille Barn. Actually, they're calling it the Hollywood Studio Museum nowadays, but this is, in fact, where the movies had their birth. And it's now a museum highlighting some of the greatest pieces that have been saved from the earliest moments of Hollywood. And this is the crowning jewel in the collection, a chariot used in Ben-Hur. Not only the one in the 50s that had Charlton Heston and Stephen Boyd in the role of Masala, who rode the chariot in the 50s version, but the one that was used in the first version from 1926 that starred Ramon Navarro and Francis X. Bushman. Bushman, in his role of Masala, rode the chariot as well. And although they both lost, the chariot has won out in the long run because it is still here for everyone to see at this marvelous museum. We we'll hope you'll stay with us with the movie tonight, and thank you for joining us from Hollywood, California. <laughs> what else is visually interesting in here? I don't know, man. I think we should just... Three, two, right, right away. Right away, Mr. DeMille, it was Cecil. He found out that I'm in his office and he wants me to get out right away. But before I do, I want to let you know that you can actually see his office beautifully recreated in the Hollywood Studio Museum, which of course was his first office when he made the Squaw Man back in 1913. And in this beautifully recreated office are his original furnishings. I'm sitting in his actual chair. And the typewriter in which he wrote the Squaw Man back in 1913 is still here too. Give it a visit when in Hollywood. And now back to our movie.